Hi Butterflies, Glenda here from Style with Glenda K. Harrison. If you're new to my platform, I am a stylist and an author and I'm dedicated to giving women the tools to master their own personal style. So for this video, I thought I'd do something fun and show you some of my favorite pieces that I've bought in vintage. Now the reason why I'm doing this video is because my last post at the dig was about a vintage 70s dress that I wore. It was this dress here. So I'm just piggybacking off of that post. So the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna show you some of the pieces and then while I show you the pieces, I also wanna share some of the tips that what I look for when I'm shopping vintage. So if you see me kind of looking down, I do have notes here so that I stay on track. So the first dress that I want to show you is the dress that I'm wearing now. I know you can't see the full dress here, so I will put a picture so that you can see it. I've worn this on the blog. I've also worn it for several occasions and even a speaking occasion. So this dress is a 1970s Ramona roll. Now, when I went searching for this dress for some reason i said i wanted a mumu style dress just a loose fitting dress but i didn't want it to look like something that i would just simply lounge around the house in i wanted it to have some style and flair to it and so i searched on ebay which is one of my favorite sites for searching for um vintage I put in Vintage Mumu, and then this one was one of the ones that came up. There were lots of them, but this one just really captured my attention. Um, as you can see, there is like gold bugle beads and sequins throughout. It is kind of like a zebra print, black and turquoise. And it is rather long, as, you'll, as you've seen in the picture. It pretty much goes down to my ankle. I absolutely love this dress. So one of the things that I look for when I am shopping for vintage is that, here are my notes, it represents the decade from which it was from. However, there's a quality to it that still looks modern like the colors, the detailing, the sleeves, the links, things like that. So with this dress, even though it is from the 70s, there's something about it that still looks very modern that I could just wear it today. And it's very eye-catching. Um, I did wear it to a fashion event and I got stopped several times. I got my picture taken. People were asking me, where did you get that dress? And um, and I told them that it was vintage. So I love the fact that it has balloon sleeves that we know right now are super popular. I also love the fact that I have several shoes that are quite modern that look wonderful with this dress. So even though it was from the 70s, it doesn't just look like an old dress. Um, you, you know what I mean by that? There are some vintage clothes that just look like old clothes. And then there are some vintage clothes that really are like, oh my gosh, the reason why you have that reaction, one versus the other, is because there are iconic pieces from every decade. And those iconic pieces are what make us think of that decade. Now, as we all know, lots of different types of clothes are created throughout the decade, but some are iconic. It's those iconic ones that make you go, oh my gosh, like a poodle skirt from the 1950s. That's an iconic um, piece of apparel that was created. And when you think of it, you immediately think of the 1950s. That's what I'm talking about. And there are just some clothes that are vintage that are just look like old clothes. So that's what I'm talking about there. So this dress, even though 
It um, is from the 1970s. It still looks modern. It is a, a style of dress that was popular during that time and it still ebbs and flow into other decades. Hope you guys understood that. Now on to the next one. This dress is probably one of my favorite, favorite vintage dresses. It's a full maxi. I've worn it a couple of times on the blog. I'll put a picture here. And this is um, another one that I picked up on eBay. And when I went searching on eBay, I put in a 1970s tiered maxi dress. And this is what came up. I really love it because it has the smocking across the top, but it's a really high um, Pierre um, waistline. So it comes up just like right up underneath my breast and it just flows so beautifully. It's very lightweight, it's almost sheer. And when I wear this dress, I'm telling you, it just flows behind me. It's so beautiful. I absolutely love this dress. Um, when I'm in a vintage mood, this is one that I grab time and time again. Um, so another hint that I look for when I'm shopping for vintage is, can the item be paired effortlessly with modern pieces like your shoes, your jewelry, your handbags, other garments? So with this dress, and as all the ones that I'm wearing, I knew that I had a pair of um, tie-up sandals that would just look so cute with this. And also, um, I have a pair of chocolate brown kind of westerny boots that I just got a couple of months ago that this will work with. And um, this dress, like I said, it just seems to ebb and flow, ebb and flow. It just works beautifully with so many things that I already own. The next top I've also worn on the blog. Now, with this, I was in search of, also on eBay, I wanted a bishop sleeve turtleneck. So this is a bishop sleeve. A bishop sleeve is categorized by, it usually have a very voluminous um, sleeve. And then when it gets to the wrist, it has this long, um, tight fit. And it gets its name from the Byzantine monks. Um, when they would serve the elements in church, their, um, their robes would have that look and it was fitted down here so that when they would pass out the elements of, for communion, their sleeve wouldn't drag along the elements. So that's why it gets its name, the bishop sleeve. Now with this, I absolutely love it because I seem to wear it with more of an equestrian look. So I've worn it with a pair of black skinny jeans with riding boots. And oftentimes I've worn it with like a, um, a rancher hat. I've also worn it with just a simple black skirt that kind of flows out. I've done many, many things with this. Um, I'll post a picture here also so you can understand what I'm talking about. Um, another thing that I look for when I shop for vintages, I make sure that it's in good vintage condition, meaning there's no rips, stains, holes, things like that. Um, some things just can't be repaired. And so now sometimes it may have a, and they'll tell you this if they're a good seller on eBay. They'll tell you if there's like a rip in the seam or whatever. Things like that can be repaired. But if a white shirt, for instance, if it has yellow stains under the arms or a rip that's in the body of the garment, those types of things cannot be repaired. So I just avoid them. So I often look for descriptions that say good or great vintage condition. That's what you want to look for. Now the next top, I haven't worn it yet. Um, I just got it in. This is 
this is going to be fun for me to style. So for some reason, and I'm telling you, this just pops in my head. So for some reason, I wanted a 1970s um, pointed collar polyester shirt okay so this is what one of the options came up i absolutely love the color it's kind of like a very kind of like a mustardy brown paisley with some white in there and as you can see that fly pointed collar that was very popular for the 70s now with this shirt um i can do so much with it but probably with a fun pair of khakis, a pair of jeans. I don't know what I'm going to come up with, but I'm going to have fun with this shirt. And it seems to be that I'm, I'm really loving the 70s right now. So a lot of my vintage pieces are from the 70s. Or um, my accessories, however, seem to come from the 1960s. And I'll show you a few of the handbags that I have here from the 1960s. So the other thing that I like to look for when I'm shopping for vintage is that the piece doesn't just look like a costume. It actually looks like something that could be worn, you know, that it looks modern. So yeah, that's another help I want to show you is the dress that I wore recently at The Dig, my blog. Um, this is a shirt dress from the 1970s. Again, I guess I'm just really feeling the 1970s right now. Well, the reason why I was attracted to this dress is because of the color combination. I really like the stripes of navy blue, white, and green. I knew that when I got this dress that I would be able to wear it with a lot of shoes and accessories that I already own. Um, and so I also love the fact that it's a big dress. It's too big for me, but I don't care. I love the way it hangs on me and it leaves a nice, comfortable drape. I don't feel like it's swallowing me, but it just does have a nice drape to it. And I, I like that about it. Now, when I searched for this dress, I did search on Etsy and eBay, eBay one out. Um, you know, I simply put in the search bar, um, vintage 70s shirt dress. This one came up. Um, so yeah, I'll put a picture here so that you could see what this dress looked like fully styled. Now, on to some of my favorite handbags. Um, I'm only going to show you three. I have more, but these are the three that I absolutely love. Now, the first one is one that I picked up from a vintage show that happens here in Southern California called the Pickwick Vintage Show. Um, I absolutely love it. If you follow me closely, you have seen me carry this bag a couple of times on the blog. Now, the handle is a black onyx. It's so pretty, so pretty. And it has gold hardware. And as you can tell, it's like a woven bag. Now, the inside is very simple. It has a twist lock. And it's just a black lining. And it does have a little zippered pouch. Um, it's small. It's dainty. When I know I'm going to carry it, I have to scale back quite a bit, but I don't mind. I'm not really a big purse carrier anyway. I actually enjoy little um, novelty bags or clutch bags. So this one was just right up my alley. I absolutely love, love, love this handbag. The next one, oh, and that is from the 1960s also. The next one is also from the 1960s, and when I went searching for this bag, I had no idea that beaded bags were all the rage. I simply wanted a 1960s handbag. I didn't put in beaded bag. I didn't put in anything. I just put in vintage 1960s handbag, also from eBay. This one popped up, and this one, no words to describe it. See the beautiful green and white 
like crystallite beads. So pretty on the handle as well. It has a kiss lock. The inside, it's small. It's a small bag, but you know, when I carry it, I know that I have to scale back. Um, the hardware is gold. There's a little wear to it, but I don't care. It doesn't show a lot. It's not like it looks damaged or anything. It just looks like a beautiful vintage 1960s bag. I love this. And the next one. I'm not sure about this one, okay? I'm going to show this to you. I haven't worn it on the blog, but I've carried it quite a bit this summer. This is also a bag that when I show it to you, you're probably going to say, Glenda, I see those in the store right now. But this bag, I believe, came from the 1980s. It says Liz Claiborne. It has a pink lining. It is crocheted. And it has a bamboo handle. Very, very similar to the bags that are being sold in the stores today. Um, if anyone knows about this bag, please leave a comment below. I would love to know what decade it's from. Um, like I said, it's it's a fun bag. I, I put in vintage crocheted bamboo handle bag and this is what came up. Now this one I got from Poshmark. So um, yeah, so Poshmark, eBay, Etsy, all of those places or sites are great resources for shopping um, vintage. Now I hope you enjoyed this video. I it wasn't I didn't want to do this just because I wanted to kind of show off what I have in vintage. I I showed you this video because I want you to open your eyes to more options on where you could um, shop and do your wardrobe. It doesn't have to be just mainstream malls or, you know, whatever. You can go back in time. Go back a few decades. You can um, have garments made for you. I do that. I have a seamstress who I absolutely adore, who happens to be my sister. And yeah, so leave your options open when it comes to your wardrobe. And remember, um, the, the key points that I gave you throughout this video is that you want to look for excellent vintage condition. You also want to make sure that it just doesn't look like an old garment versus an iconic piece that has modernity to it. So that's what you wanna look for. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you enjoyed it, let me know and I will show you some of my accessories pieces. It'll be a part two to this video. So let me know your thoughts and until next time, bye for now.